In today's video I'm going to talk about phasing animation tool in the latest update from Lumion, Lumion 11 Pro. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I'll see you next time. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In this video I'm going to talk about the phasing animation tool or effect if you want. Uh, that you can add to your animations inside the latest update from Lumion Pro 11. Uh, I'm saying always Pro because this is not in the other version of Lumion, okay? It's only in Lumion Pro. Um, and uh, I, I, I said this before in other videos, but if you're really going to invest in Lumion and, uh, you know, you invest in a machine that can run Lumion pretty good, um, you might as well invest in Lumion Pro, okay? Because there is a lot of things, especially in this 11 update, that you have in the Pro version that you don't have in the other version. And it's going to be really frustrating okay so one of the, the things I really missed in my first impressions video because I didn't have any release notes at all was the phasing animation thing you know so I did a couple of two of animations so basically this is um, let's just stop this one and I'll show you another one And I will add these two uh, animations in the end, okay? So this is just basically the same project, but with different ways of adding things. One is from rising, and we'll talk a little bit inside Lumion. So basically, um, this is um, doing a little bit like Twin Motion has. It has this phasing thing that you, especially if you're working in construction, if you're an architect and you actually, you know, want to show your clients how the build comes together or the phases of build, okay? It's a pretty cool idea. Um, okay, so this is basically it. My thing is, in Lumion, we could already do this with layers animation, okay? Uh, I did a previ previously a video. Um, in here, you have a bit more control on what phase it starts when, okay? But this is something that I could already do before in Lumion. Um, maybe not all the things, but most of it, okay? Um, the thing is, before, I used to be able to put things in layers and animate each layer. Now I'm animating um, uh, models in terms of categories. Okay, so let me just show you what I mean. So this is the model. This is one of the examples of model in Lumion. Um, and uh, in here, in, uh, in effects, this is in, uh, one of the next videos I'm going to do, but animated phasing. Let's open up. Okay, and you have this and you have edit. So basically you have this here, okay? This is all, you can always write uh, the, the, what you want the animation to, to call, okay? Um, and the, the object, this is to select the objects. So in here, of course, you can show or hide layers. Uh, so this is easier to you to select. My thing is right now, maybe I'm missing something, but the only way I can select things, okay? So as you can see here, um, I'm in, a, in the import, but if I go to all, just to show you, okay, I'm selecting. So you have here a sign, and you can select, or you can just click in the hole because it's easier to select the whole model. And when it's green, it's something that you selected for this for this um, this uh, uh, first phase. Okay. Uh, my thing is, for example, if in, if I'm if I want to because uh, I use, for example, vegetation. Okay. This will be cool to have, for example, trees. That what trees I'm going to plant first, what shrubs I'm going to plant first. So you have this by phases. My thing is, the vegetation I use is normally uh, a mix of uh, vegetation from the Lumion library and vegetation that I'm imported. Okay, and I can select this, but it just makes it really cumbersome. If imagine that I have a hundred imported uh, plants. I'm going to have to go and download it one by one and, and select it one by one. You know what I mean? 
um, because if not, okay, I've, I could, you know, zoom out and select the area, press, um, press uh, um, control in the keyboard, sorry, um, alt in the keyboard. Okay, so press um, control in the keyboard, okay, and when you, when you see uh, the green ones are already done, but when you see the yellows, keep pressing control and you click and everything goes to green. But with this, you might select other things that you don't want to select, okay? So after you have to go and just check, the, check them out, okay? Um, first you need to escape, but it's a bit cumbersome. Uh, I'm, I'm just find it, I'll, I'll find it much easier, much, uh, with better, much better control if you could uh, animate each layer, okay? Maybe there is a way that I, I'm not seeing how to do it right now, but maybe there is a way of doing that um, uh, with this animation tool. But I, this because, you know, you could add the specific vegetation because you would select it uh, by categories or, or okay or by similar um, in uh, in the build mode and you could uh, and you add to a specific layer and then you animate that layer in a phasing when that layer is going to come in okay so this would be my my favorite thing to do um, because right now uh, going one by one it's oh come on you know uh, so, or you using just uh, Lumion uh, vegetation, and like that, you could just easily go because you're here with just veget with the nature logged in. You could control, select everything, and just uh, click in one of the models, and everything in green, and you can see here the object selected. And that's cool. And that's you pr just press OK, save changes. And that will be the phasing animation one, okay? Uh, so just let me show you. So you don't, basically don't have any any vegetation right now. Uh, this is when you want to start in and or is in, okay? Just make sure you have the duration a little bit um, longer, okay? So it's not very quick or, or too quick. Uh, but uh, and uh, what kind of effect you want, okay? Uh, implode, uh, normally vegetation. I, I like uh, uh, ground rise, but if you do it too slow, because it's not actually a grow thing, it's not like in, uh, in the growth setting in Twin Motion that you actually grow the vegetation. In here, it's like almost full size coming from the floor. So if it's too slow, even if you're in the wrong angle, you know, just coming a full tree from the ground is gonna look wrong, okay? Um, so just pay attention what angle you actually, and have that in consideration. Um, I'm gonna explore this more because it's very new and, uh, and uh, there are things that, um, so you have a, here a start and an end for, for, uh, for the, for the the phasings okay um but uh, just make sure you i'm gonna put from the ground rise just for you to check it out so as you can see in this angle it looks wrong because you can see full trees coming from the ground okay so in different angles i'll add some to the two animations i did quick animations i have done yesterday um, so um, you can check it out. There is one that I use from the ground up and it looks cool. It looks great. Uh, so this is it. Okay. So, but now you want, uh, imagine that you want a new phase and you want this phase to start a little bit at, you know, a little bit later on. And this phase again, you give it a name. Uh, you select the objects you want. Okay. Um, in here you can see what uh, you know if if you look right now i'm actually thinking if i actually done by layers i could deselect everything and just put the layer that i want and maybe select that way um what i was talking previously if you want just the vegetation layer but you want all the vegetation okay so this would be a way to do it actually so you know you see in the video i Add a, uh, put a problem and give the solution as well. <laughs> because this is too new, I didn't have time to actually 
to actually start looking into it. So, but like this, I press control. Oh, I need to put all, sorry. So I, I now I have that layer. I have all and I press OK. Press save changes. So it's going to come up the, okay, now let's go and see all the, the ones I had previously. Okay, so now you should see the furniture coming, popping in. Okay, the vegetation first, now phasing of the so yeah, you you know you need to make the right angle. You need to put this in a longer the, with the longer duration. But you start seeing how this works. Um, if you want to delete a phase, um, you just click. Sorry, you select here the number, and you delete it. You always need to press twice. Uh, but this is it, okay? I think it's pretty cool. It gives you a better control of when it starts and when the, when it finishes. And there, of course, there is things here, staggering and the duration and easing in and starting time. So you can start seeing how this, this uh, and you know, copy animation so you can copy for the next, the next phase. So this is useful as well. Um, you can start seeing how this can come along pretty nicely if you want to show phases of planting or if you're working with the actual built um, architectural element, you know, you have this. Of course, for example, for the build, you need to import it, everything from, if you're using SketchUp, the parts of the build you want to, to show coming together, they all need to import, be imported as separate models. Okay, so this is another thing um, because like, like uh, I talked in previous videos, when you import something in Lumion, it's always having, um, it's always collapsed by material. You can't choose like keep hierarchy like you can in Twin Motion. So that will be a really cool thing for this kind of uh, phasing animations. But if you imported everything as um, the, 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 the parts of the house, for example, that you want to show coming together, you need to import them all as separate, separate models into Lumion. And this will be a pretty cool animation showing how the house comes together and maybe, you know, even the grass areas, but all needs to be imported separately. Don't forget. Okay. So, you know, the, all these parts coming together and after what vegetation comes first or if it's a big garden what part of the garden is going to be planted first so there is a lot of things you can do it's a pretty cool uh, cool tool i i'm pretty sure i will need to compare it or maybe if another um someone that's used to work in lumion i was i'm pretty sure we could do this before with using just a layer animation uh but anyway it's you know I think it's pretty cool to always add new uh, tools. So that's it, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.